no just avoid don't watch it i mean that's all i could say i am going to give five minutes here uh my god uh yeah anyone who knows me personally uh, anyone on the channel so far watching knows i'm a fan of batman but also i do enjoy anime and this was something that i couldn't avoid this was something that i was looking forward to and i, I suppose my expectations were quite high considering how it gauged my interest i'm a big fan of batman in fact so i always hope to see how they tell batman stories and animation and only recently have these movies started to go downhill um and that's unfortunate because for a long time uh, it seemed like dc were you know the front runner in that area so anyway this one is just one to avoid uh, and for several reasons i think it it, uh, it it was catering to a certain anime uh, f fan out there uh, and and like many things in entertainment there's so many genres out there and there's also sub genres in an anime the stuff i like would be action based psychological stuff sci-fi i even like studio gilvery stuff as well so there's i, I like anime unfortunately this just didn't do it for me this time around and and there's a lot of reasons for that i think the, the third act of this movie was ridiculous and that's me saying that someone who enjoys some of the anime stuff that i've just mentioned and i think a lot of people outside of anime just people who wouldn't really be interested in it would look at that and go well, that's ridiculous but you haven't even seen this yet you know what i mean like even for someone who likes anime would see certain things here that are just out of place for me and so yeah it does cater to that kind of audience and that would be uh, the mecha sides and the military stuff and just the over exaggerated stuff that just doesn't do it for me it caters to that kind of fan that's fine so going in to watch this i'd watch similar things to like this uh, gotham knight is something that i keep mentioning to people if you hadn't seen it uh, go and watch that if you've ever seen or know about the animatrix where that that's broken down and uh, there's it's one big story but it's just told in different styles of animation well that's kind of similar here with gotham knight but this thing is so different like the style of it looks great um i love how all the characters are represented here and stuff right that's what drew me in the trailer was great even in the trailer it kind of hid a couple of things in there that we weren't going to really well i mean like you always kind of break down the trailer and you got your ideas of what the movie's going to be like but even in the trailer it showed some of the weird stuff in there you're like oh that's a bit weird I wonder how they make that work they don't even care you know what i mean they just throw this weird stuff straight up in your face on the third act that you actually go what am i watching but i had to watch to the end so i wasn't i wasn't going to give up on this one so um and unfortunately for me i watched it in the english version the english um dub i would advise people who are going to watch this who don't want to take this advice that you're going to watch it anyway i advise you to go watch the japanese version i think that might be better for you uh, i just thought the english dialogue was just really wishy-washy and stuff so that's unfortunate um so anyway some good points about it um like it was um it, it did have like that like again the, the nice style it's hand drawn it has some cgi stuff in there now like um two faces he's, he's in there but then again yeah, the bad points lots of fan service they're just throwing characters in there uh, and i just didn't like that i just it, it, it's unfortunate um so yeah negative experience for me and for this being my first rant i thought i'd just include something um that i enjoy and that's batman um but yeah I'll, I'll try, i don't want to miss anything out on this one just just avoid it <laughs> um but yeah if you want to watch a good animated film uh, go watch uh, gotham knight but anything dc related as well go and watch justice league doom flashpoint war those are all great movies and even um for batman stories year one dark knight returns both part one and two or even superman and batman story uh apocalypse that's also a good one so yeah and also avoid the other dc stuff like killing joke batman harley quinn uh son of batman that three-part story just didn't do it for me either so that's another mention in there so yeah there you go guys that's honestly how i feel about batman ninja it just didn't do it for me and that's unfortunate